If I go into Files, Pull Down, Import, and the file that I was sent by email is a nov16ready.dxf. Use the zoom command, zoom center, type in 300, and turn off the draw up. And that's the file that I imported. I'm going to erase everything but this shamrock with a circle around it. I'm going to use the erase command. I'm going to start at the bottom and drag up. Anything that touches the or that is inside of the window will be selected. And then I'm going to Go for another selection. And I have selected everything, just about everything. I'm going to erase that. I hit the F1 for redraw. Now I'm going to scale that shamrock, select in the center, and I'm going to set the scale to about there. I'm going to click on drag so I don't go through the trouble of dragging. Use the move command. And I'm going to move that over to here. Then I'm going to use the zoom window command, and I'm going to zoom in on it. Now I'm going to use the scale command again. And I wanted approximately one inch in diameter. So I'm going to move this down to here. Then I'm going to use a zoom window command. I'm going to zoom in on it. And now I'm going to click on the draw up. And I can use the erase command, erase that. Erase. And I'm going to use the join command. I pick that, pick that, join it. Pick that, yes, join it. Pick that, yes. Pick that, pick that. That. Now, now I'm going to engrave it. I'm going to use a plot item command. I'm going to pick that, and then I'm going to have a cut depth of 0.01 inches. When I'm done, I'm going to click on the Z max. So when I'm done, it's going to raise the z-axis up to the maximum position. And then I'm going to also pick on that. And I'm going to execute.
then I'm going to move in for a little better look at what we just did. I'll brush it off. And thanks for watching.